Then Speed jumped on the ramp of our heli, and we got back home. Sounds like you had a really rough time. And we're not done yet. Whatever the Russians were doing back there, it seems dangerous. Anyway, it's getting late. Let's get back to the camp. Sounds like someone's at the shooting range. It must be SV and AV. You know those guys. They love shooting practice. We gotta find Spee and Laws. Laws, do you copy? Spee, do you copy? Where's Spee and Laws? Does anybody know what's going on? Hey, do you copy? Yes, I copy Laws. What's going on? We're under attack by Ramos' men. Three units on station. They're landing in the helicopter. Where are you, Laws? Where is Spee? Looks like we're on our own for now, boys. Stay together. We've got to defend the hangar. Cardile, open the hangar door. Everyone, get ready. Go, go, go! Smoke the green! I can't see anything! Open fire on the fly! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Dead man. All right, everyone, get up. You're all in one piece. Drill's over. Best weapon you have is the one between your ears, kid. Use it. Wait, what happened? Was it all just a drill? I could have shot you. And you didn't. That's the problem. That was the point of the drill to test your performance in sudden action. And guess what? You failed. You guys are not ready yet. You need some more training before we go after Romanov. Looks like without Laws and me, you're all too disorganized. Imagine what would happen if one of us was gone. That's why we staged that drill, to test if you guys are ready to fight Romanov. Like I said, you're not. Tomorrow we start a new training session. We'll update you on the details in the morning. Now go get some rest. Dismissed. Yesterday Spee was a hard ass. No shit. I've never seen him that serious on the task force before. He's taking that Romanov story too seriously. Attention task force. Alright task force 99. After your disappointing performance yesterday, it's time to prove your worth. Today we start a new training session for our small unit. First of all, some of our more experienced soldiers are chosen as supervisors. 
Surgeon Pan will supervise obstacle courses and Simon Victor will coordinate your weapons and equipment training. Today we're gonna have some fun walking 10 kilometers fully geared up. I know everyone loves that. Go to station three and aim your rifle down range. Now I'm gonna make the targets pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can. A good job, mate. Captain wants to see you. Good news, gentlemen. Task Force 141 was kind enough to give us some of their winter uniforms. I don't know about you guys, but I find them really cool. Carlisle, you're next for the action course. Come get in the lift. Here's the deal. This is probably our final day of training. Spee wants this final course executed perfectly by everyone, including himself. You were the last one to run it today, so don't disappoint us. It took us three days to rebuild the basement and convert it to this course. Anyway, gear up and begin the course. Spee's gonna be watching.
And there he is. Looks like we got a new commander in that task force. I'm sure he's getting there, Cap. You made me proud, man. I now believe that we stand a chance against the enemy. Let's go set up a plan to find and stop Romanov. I'll see you all in the debrief tomorrow. Comrade General, the evacuation from Sicily has been completed. The last helicopter has just arrived. Sergeant, why are you the one reporting this? Why not Major Misha? He... he is dead, sir. The British killed him. It has been more than three weeks since the incident. Why did it take you so long to report his death? My apologies, General Romanov. We... we were too busy. Enough! You are hiding something, Sergeant, and you would better tell me what it is, for your own good. My General, they accessed the City Hall's main computer. They did what? Please, sir, you must understand that we were outgunned. That computer had the nuclear codes. Do you know what that means? I shouldn't have trusted Major Misha with them. That imbecile proved to be more useless than I predicted. Now that these British have the abort codes, they must never reach the nuclear silo. We have to make sure that will not happen. Who are they, my general? They are my elite personal guards. I lay my utmost trust to them. Yuri, my son, Welcome. You have a son, sir? I found him during the Georgian Civil War. He was just a child, alone in the wreckage. When I looked into his eyes, I saw the soul of a brave warrior. So I took him in, I raised him, and now there he is, ready to fight for my cause. You see, Sergeant, this time I will count on real soldiers. Not like your pathetic comrades who ingloriously died back in Sicily. They proved how expendable and weak they were. You see, making the same mistake twice makes a man unwise. And I hate being called unwise. Attention Task Force 99. Firstly, I want to congratulate all of you on your efforts throughout the training. I'm sure it'll pay off. Gentlemen, we've set up a plan to take down Romanov. During our adventure back in Italy, we managed to collect significant enemy intelligence. By studying that intel in depth, we came up with a plan to take down Romanov. But first, Laws will fill you in on all we know about Romanov's operations. Romanov is preparing for war. He wants to establish forward bases in Europe to rapidly expand upon the outbreak. So far, he has been active in two undercover locations in Southeast Europe. The one we encountered in Italy, and the one here in Greece. Those regions were already evacuated from civilians according to local authorities. After our involvement in Italy, Romanov withdrew all of his remaining forces to his establishment here in Greece, where he also holds a nuclear missile silo armed with a warhead. There hasn't been any aggressive activity on his behalf ever since, which is troubling considering the losses he sustained. Our top priority is to prevent that warhead from ever launching and eventually putting a stop to Romanov's plans. This is a map of Romanov's region of influence here in Greece. His activities expand between these three key positions. The seaside supply depot in the south, the train station town in the northwest, and his missile silo base in the northeast. There's an abandoned railway that the enemy uses to transfer troops and supplies between the base and the town. 
and there's a scheduled train route in a few days between the town and the base. Romanov will be on that train, which will make him vulnerable. That's where we'll strike. Taking out Romanov will bring disorder to his forces and give us less trouble when assaulting the nuke base. Our plan will now be elaborated by speed. 